The sun is a source of unlimited clean energy and now the world's best scientists are trying to recreate the sun on earth to tap its fusion energy costing over euro 20 billion. Now India is a full partner in this mega project. NDTV science editor Pallav Bagla visited the ITR project which has made in India written all over it and having committed about 17,500 crore, Prime Minister Narendra Modi is likely to take stock of this mega project on his ongoing trip to France and by contributing to about 10% of the cost, India gets access to 100% of technology. Far away in France, this team of Indians is trying to do the seemingly impossible, tapping the sun's real energy source to give the world an unlimited supply of clean energy, being made collaboratively by USA, Russia, South Korea, China, Japan, European Union, and India's equal partners the aim is to show how two heavier cousins of the hydrogen atom can be fused to produce energy on the same lines as the sun does it all the time. NDTV visited the heart of the facility to take a look at where the sun will be reborn. This place to me is the coolest place on earth, ironically, because here in the near future we're going to have our little sun on Earth, which is going to be 150 million degrees Celsius. So it's going to be actually the hottest place on Earth, 10 times hotter than our sun. Among many other things, India has contributed the biggest component, which is the world's largest refrigerator that houses this unique reactor. It was made in Gujarat by Lassun and Tubro and shipped here. It weighs over 3,800 tons and is almost half the height of the Qutub Minar. India is a valuable partner with uh, ITER. Uh, they've made some of the key components. They've made uh, what's called the cryostat, which is uh, perhaps one of the biggest thermos models in the world because we have to keep things at minus 270 degrees Celsius right next to this 100 million degree uh, plasma that's making energy. Called the ITER project, it is a Herculean effort and operations are expected to start by 2025. Later, a full-scale electricity generating unit called the Demo Reactor is scheduled to be completed by 2040. I think uh, having done so much uh, on ITER, we should uh, actually uh, prepare ourselves to get the demo plant done on Indian soil, an international demo plant on Indian soil, because that will uh, enable us to leapfrog even faster. That's my dream. Behind me is the building where the world is trying to recreate the sun. And India is a full participant in that. India helping to get unlimited supply of energy and a non-polluting source. In southern France, at Kadash, Palav Bagla for NDTV.